Well, finally, here we are on Friday evening, March 30th, 2018. We have had solid cloud cover up here in Ohio since uh, Monday night. But over here in the uh, east southeast, we have a full moon rising, well, 99.6% lit. And I was a little bit surprised to see it over here. It's up about um, six degrees above the horizon. So when I got it Monday, it was uh, buried behind the trees over there. But it's moved over here. And it's not gonna come in very well because of the cloud cover, but Yeah, <laughs> can barely see the uh, details of it. But it seems I've missed a lot of excitement this week. A lot of good stuff out in the skies. Folks from all over the world were getting odd colored skies. It was, um, there were green skies, purple, but the orange, that orange really stood out. No, I think it was yesterday morning, J7409, she caught, she was out uh, early and got the moon as it was uh, over in the west, as it was setting over there. And then an hour later, she goes out and takes some pictures over in the south. And there's this, not just an orange glow, it looks like an orange object up there. So, uh... There was nothing that could be seen up here. I was uh, so irked. I would have loved to have uh, captured it also, but. And J7409, she's down in North Carolina. Oh, look at that, it's coming in better. The sunset about, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, I think. I'm not sure. Well, it's not the best looking full moon, but uh, <laughs> what can you say when you have all this crap in the skies? But anyway, um, apparently we've got a uh, sunspot finally coming around. It should be on the edge now, which I wasn't able to get it. The uh, sun was covered all day, but apparently it uh, shot off a few, I think, B and C class flares. I'm not sure. I think there was about um, four or five flares that shot off. So hopefully within the two weeks here, as it makes its journey across, we'll be able to get some images of it. Let me move us a little bit away from that tree. dark band of the clouds are going over it now. But yeah, we've got the sunspot, finally. The good old Chinese space station's gonna, is supposed to be crashing soon. Within the next few days, they say, they predict, they say they don't know, but uh, it's keeping a constant speed of what I was monitoring. About 17,000 miles an hour. Yesterday, it was uh, ranging from the altitude up uh, 123 miles up above us, and today, I think it's about, eh, I'd have to double check, but I think it's about 113 miles. They say the uh, ISS is up about 125 miles above us, so who knows. But they're kind of estimating, you know, today, tomorrow, April 1st or the 2nd or something like that and I think they were really leaning towards the April 1st and on that day <laughs> the Chinese space station should be going right over top of me right over my house wouldn't that be interesting it'll be early morning now I think about um, 6 or 7 in the morning up here in northeastern Ohio so <laughs> we'll see if the skies allow, I'll set my alarm to uh, come out. 
Okay, so we can go in a little bit. Um, my two beams there don't seem to be coming out very well. The ones in front of that mesa. Question mark's coming out though. Over to the right of it. <laughs> and what looks like uh, some letters down below that black spot. But as I said in the past, I don't like, uh, I don't know, I just don't like getting the full moon that much because uh, it just looks so flat, so dull. But when it's a crescent, you know, you can see so many more features and depth and, and all that. So, I do prefer getting it then. So it's a bit chilly out here. I think it's about, uh, well, it might be about freezing. I don't know. Oh, go some birds. So yeah, for people that are filming the sky and keeping a watch on the sun, we should have a sunspot to check out and look out for falling debris. I'm not positive, but I think that they said the Chinese space station, once it breaks up and comes down, um, that it could be about, uh, oh, I could be mistaken, but I thought they said it could leave debris about a thousand miles long and maybe about six miles wide or something like that. I don't know. I don't think they know either. It's all a guessing game. I look at all those birds. They're still chattering up a storm. That's good. I've missed the birds. But anyway, so finally we get uh, something up here in Ohio, besides gray clouds, and uh, so I can come out and wish you all a wonderful night and a great weekend ahead. All right, y'all take care. Keep your helmets on now. <laughs> all right, bye.